Britain's blood transfusion service was once a model for the rest of the world. But now it's said to have slipped perilously downhill because of what's described as consistent bad management. Dr. Cash says that what was once a national service is now being run on a regional basis as a series of tight compartments that hardly work together. The net result is unnecessary shortages and some people being needlessly infected with AIDS. In London, the home counties and Yorkshire, he claims there are blood shortages while other areas aren't collecting as much as they could because they've got too much. Where blood was short, Factor 8 used to treat haemophiliacs was short too. So Factor 8 had to be imported and some of that had been contaminated with the AIDS virus. Dr. Cash points the finger at bureaucracy in the system. For example, if the central blood laboratory at Elstree needs new supplies, it has to approach each of the 14 regional services individually. They, in turn, have to go to their own health authorities for the necessary cash. He suggests instead a national transfusion service, cutting out the regional authorities. But Dr. Cash's views are not shared by others in the transfusion service. I would not describe it as being in a shambles at all. I, neither would I say that uh, there aren't some operational problems within the transfusion service. Indeed, this is why regional transfusion directors some time ago uh, discussed these problems with the Department of Health and a detailed independent study has been carried out over the past year. Health Secretary John Moore said Dr. Cash's views were inaccurate and they distorted the facts. His department study of the transfusion service is due in a few weeks.